when you're proficient at something, it always seems obvious, right? But not for everybody. So let's talk about the repeat last. I'm Wes Levany too, and welcome to Penfinity. On the video about the array modifier, on top of my really bad explanation, I did some manipulations that you don't necessarily get, and one of them was the repeat last. It simply allows us to repeat the last action, but the trick is what we define as action. An action is between when you activate then validate a tool. And between both, multiple things can happen. Let's take an example. Let's create a plane and rotate it 90 degrees on X, and now I want to duplicate from the top edge to the bottom one as a half circle. For that, I have to set the pivot point to the cursor first. Now, I will need to extrude the edge, but before validate my extrusion, and because it entered into the transform model, I can rotate, lock the x-axis, and specify an angle of 15, for example. Everything I just did count as one action. So from there, if I press repeat last, it will take all I just did as one operation, then repeat until it closed the gap for me. And that's how I was able to create this quick gap. Remember to always change the pivot point to cursor because most of the time it will be around it. So that's it for today. As always, if you have any question, just ask. And until the next video, work hard, smart and with a lot of fun. This is Westlife Open Infinity, signing off.